Okay, let's factor the equation x squared plus 9x minus 22. We'll start with a skeleton equation. That's right here. Once we have that skeleton, we can add the signs into the skeleton equation. So I see the last term here is negative. If the last term is negative, we'll put a plus and a minus in our skeleton like this. Once we've done that, we can find the factors for the last term, that's the 22, and they should equal the middle term, the 9. So the factors for 22 are, and I can see that 2 times 11, that would give me the 22, and the difference between 2 and 11, that's 9. So I want the 9 to be positive. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the 2 right here and the 11 right here. That way I'll have 11 times negative 2, that's negative 22, but 11 plus negative 2, that's the 9x. So we factored the equation, x squared plus 9x minus 22. But let's check our work with the FOIL method. We multiply the first, outside, inside, and then last terms, like this. And we can combine negative 2x and 11x, that gives us the 9x, like this. And this is the same thing we've started with. So we've correctly factored x squared plus 9x minus 22. Let's take a moment and find the values here for x that when we put them in this equation here, this whole side will equal 0. So we'll have 0 equals 0, a true equation. We say x plus 11 equals 0. x equals a negative 11. x minus 2 equals 0. x equals 2. If you put 2 in for x and you do the math, all of this equals 0. Likewise, if you were to put negative 11 in for x and you did the math, all of this would equal 0 again. If you use the quadratic equation, you'd end up with these exact same numbers. This is Dr. B, factoring the equation x squared plus 9x minus 22 equals 0. Thanks for watching.